We begin tonight in a classroom at WSU River Point. The class is Gang Crisis 101. Thanks for joining us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Richard Brown. You know, 77 gang members were busted this weekend, but even the gang task force says that isn't enough to stop the gang activity in our neighborhoods. KXLY 4's Janet O was in class tonight. She's live in the U District. Janet? Well, Robin, I think it's safe to say a lot of people who came out to tonight's meeting here at WSU River Point didn't know very much about gangs and how they affect our lives. And that's because in large part, the gang enforcement team says people think of the Hollywood version, the shootouts in the middle of the streets in big cities. But gang intelligence officer Mike Roberge says gang violence ranges from petty crimes to murder. Robert says gangs transcend age, race, and gender. In addition, he says gang activity is growing, moving more into rural areas. It's become very popular in our, our culture with uh, media, print, music. We're, we're glorifying the lifestyle. Everybody wants to be a bad boy now. Everybody wants to uh, break the rules and, and come out ahead. Well, Deshaun Bedford, who was in the back of the room during the meeting, brought his own camera. He says he wants to tape the meeting to give his gangster friends a reality check about how they are viewed by everyone else. I'm like a seven that's here for my community, for the people that don't come in here and see this. You know, I mean, I'm just going to show it to all them and they're going to be like, wow, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be pretty shocked to see themselves up on screen like this, throwing up gang signs. Well, Bedford hopes his friends, gangsters and non-gangsters alike, will see this and clean up their act. And one important thing Robert said in the meeting was the word wannabe should not be used lightly because those are the people who are most likely to join gangs without intervention or help. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Janet O, KXLY4.